Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is an extra video that I had got planned but then I filmed something else instead but I am currently, it is Friday, obviously I have said before I've been filming ahead so it's Friday the 20th today Dylan is off school although he would have, oh no, yeah he would have finished by now um, but he, we think, I think he's going to come down with either a really bad cold or the flu um, he's got a temperature of 39 this morning and he's got a cough and feels dizzy and stuff so him to close eye on him and then Snuggles decides that he has got a sore leg because he doesn't want to peel left out and I have um, a vet appointment in an hour and a half so I'm just killing some time in the sense so I thought you know what everything's still out on the side from where I've planned to film this I'm just gonna film it so now I've rambled on for a minute so let's say <laughs> Welcome to the video, I hope you enjoy it. If you are new here, please stick around. I'm a mum of two boys, I've got three cats as well. Um, and this is gonna be a, like a chocolate hamper. Now, <clears throat> you can make these different ways, you can make them for different occasions, you can make them for that. Not everybody likes chocolates. You can even do it with sweets um, and things like that. Um, so everybody loves that kind of thing. So you can do Valentine's, Easter, birthdays, christenings, anything really any kind of celebratory or for no reason at all if you very want to. So I'm gonna show you one I've made and then you can see what we're aiming for at the end and then we're gonna make one together. So now Dylan has disappeared. He doesn't know this one is actually for him. Well, he might have guessed because the box is green. Um, so this is one I've created for Dylan. This has got two of the massive, massive Maltese bars at the back. We've got flakes in there, whispers, Milky Ways, Santa chocolate lollies. Um, you can fill them as full as you want. Um, Dylan doesn't like sweets, so I thought this was a great idea for him as a gift. For either, whether he has it for his birthday or for Christmas, I don't know, because it, it could be given for any. So, I got these boxes off eBay. I will link them down below, but you don't have to do them in these boxes. You can do them in any type of box, you could even do them in an, an Amazon box and wrap the box in paper. Um, the only thing you will need to put in the box, whatever box you decide to use, and I hate this stuff because it makes me cringe, is dry floral foam. And this is, I can see this not going very well. This is what you stick these into. So these are wooden kebab sticks. You need the long ones and they stick in this, so you do need this. I suppose you could use like um, a big ball of plasticine or something like that, but I know they don't move in here because obviously chocolate's quite heavy. So you make your box up, so it goes from this to this kind of size box. You put your floral foam in the bottom, and what I did next was with some tissue paper, oh, I wanted to use the blue one, but I think I've packed that away. Ah, here. I'm going to use blue because it's a silver box. I'm going to get a couple of sheets. Um, I got this for 99p for 20 sheets in um, Aldi recently. And I'm just going to get three sheets. I can get... I think I'm more fingers and thumbs because I'm worried about snuggles in his leg. Um, and you can kind of like make them so that, can you see that, so it's like crossed over and I'm going to move one and position it in a different position. Just so you get the corners in lots of different positions. Let's move you around so you can see what I'm doing. So for this one I'm actually making a Pacific type of one and this is for my brother. He asked for all things Reese's so I have got some different types of one. That's a jumbo one. We've got, oh there's another one somewhere. We've got a bar and I've got a little white packet as well. I also bought these. These came in like a big bag. So the little like cup ones. So let me make some space. I started off already over here. I've put a piece of paper down so that I don't get glue on my work surface. And with these little cups, I made sure they, I used the ones where the foil completely covered all the chocolate so that we didn't get any glue near the chocolate. And I just put four blobs of glue and stuck my stick in. But this one, this one right here is lifting a bit. So I'm just gonna add an extra little bit of glue down this side here to try and stop it from 
lifting up. I will put multiple sticks on because one stick will not hold this at all. So try and get a, as flat as possible. That's no good, it's half a stick. Um, and try and cover as much as you can so that it's not like heavy stuck to the bottom and this top bit's heavy. So I'm going to run two bits of glue. It doesn't have to be neat. The glue will come off the packaging. If you, rip, if you miss stick something, let it dry and it'll peel back off again. Ah, ow. Ow, ow. It's hot, careful. Typical me. I wonder if I caught that on camera. My glue gun just exploded. They say things come in threes, they bloody do. I'm gonna have to kind of wing this. I have got another glue gun, but I need to sort out the fuses now in the blinking switches. You need to work out obviously which is your back and which is your, which you want to be at the back and which you want to be at the front. Um, you want to kind of go with your biggest objects at the back, but you also need to think about spacing. Um, so I try and define two or three things at the back and don't push them right in because you want the back to be the tallest. So, and my other one I haven't been able to do but I'm going to put another one at the side of this here. So you get three of these at the back. And then sticking out the side, I'm going to do two of these on, God I've got sticky glue everywhere, um, two of these. And then what I would do is I would go in with, I'm going to go in with this one, which I've done, so I can put this one in here. And I'm going to push it in, but, oh no, I was going to say, if you need to, you can cut the sticks at the bottom um, to make them sink in a little bit better. So this one, I'm not quite sure whether to kind of sit it at the front like this with just one stick in it so that it sits along the front, because I haven't got any more real bars. But I have got, so then I would do these little ones on sticks kind of at this level. I think I've got four. So I may do two on each stick, if that makes sense. So like that on a stick, on there. And then I've got, I might do that one at the middle and then this one sat at the back, it's like this. So this is what it kind of looked like with two ones in there as well. And then you need, you can buy this in Poundland, I think. And I think it comes in longer rolls, which is actually better. But what I do is, you kind of need, so if you hold your tape to the bottom, you kind of need quite, it quite to go quite up, but then double it over, because that gives you like the sides. So you have two pieces. So you would have a piece going across and a piece going this way and then you fold them all up to the middle oh you can't see to the middle and tie them with a piece of ribbon or tape at the beginning and then at the sides what you'll be able to do is fold it and tape it down like you would when you wrap a parcel and um, i'll show you on this one it'll probably be more easier to see now that i can't finish that one right now so, as you can see here, let me lift it up, these sides here were taped down like you would a parcel, and I think this side has actually come off. Or did I take this one down? Oh, I think I didn't take this one down to show you guys, but you basically just fold it in like a parcel, put a bit of tape on it. So, as you can see here at the top, I use tape to secure this, but what I will then do, you can either get like a big pull bow, or you can do the ribbons that you put on parcels, the ones that you can run the scissors down and make them all stringy and then it'll just cover down the front. And you know what, overall, these are really expensive to buy, but they're actually quite cheap to make. Um, so definitely give them a go. They are lots of fun. People are always wowed at them when you pass them over as gifts. And it's just something a little bit out of the box. So this one is gonna have to wait now, but <clears throat> Thank you for watching me. If you do have any questions, because I haven't been able to film this as well as I wanted, um, leave them down below and I will get back to them if you have questions on how to do certain things. It is very straightforward though. Um, it's more straightforward than you probably think. So definitely have a go. So thank you for watching. I shall see you all in my next video, which will be after Boxing Day now. I think I'm going to post the Sunday after Christmas. So thanks for watching. I shall see you all very, very soon. Merry, Merry Christmas and I will see you before the new year. Bye.